the difference between who you are today and who you want to become exists within a set of mental frameworks. Beliefs become thoughts. Thoughts become actions. Actions become reality. You must be willing to relearn what you think you know. Ask yourself, what's stopping you from achieving your goals? What are your self-limiting beliefs? Take two minutes to reflect. What you just heard was the first priming from the Mindset app. When I'm thinking about the first app that we want to build, my head immediately goes to like, what is the introduction to self-improvement? Uh, mental frameworks to help people do things more intentionally and think more critically, and applications to help people uh, become more disciplined. I've always felt drawn to tangible recommendations and protocols for the individual. That's essentially what we're using here with Mindset by Apex. We have three main pages. We have the Home or Today tab, we have the Learn tab, and the Apex tab. Daily Priming, which contains a brief little introduction to the topic, a daily lesson, which takes some concrete examples to highlight the uh, more domain-specific information. It then ends off with a daily reflection which gives you some questions to think about throughout the day. About a month ago, I was in a really bad place with the app, to be honest. Like, I'm listening to the lessons that I'm creating, and they're just not interesting, they're not engaging. I don't even want to listen to them. I realized that I was writing them like a textbook. Like, it was just fact, 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 fact. As opposed to, I think humans learn best through stories. Uh, I'd skipped out on a surf for the day. I was like, I need to figure this out. And I just tried like a hundred different methods. And then I came to this like two stories, three main takeaway structure. Blake sent us the priming, the lesson, and the reflection of the day. So as we go on our morning walk, we're gonna listen and uh, give our thoughts on it. Originally, I had started to develop the application, ended up working with Yusuf Sarandi, Absolute killer, super smart guy. I'm helping build uh, all of the kind of like technical aspects of the apps. So that means all of the back end, front end, being able to kind of really help uh, a bunch of people to achieve their goals with apps that we build that are 100% free. That's really something that made me absolutely want to join the team. We're really excited to kind of share it to everybody. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just hoping uh, everybody's gonna like it as much as I do. So we got Josiah today. He sent over a sample. We're gonna try to hop on a call with him. Yeah, I think that nailing the voices is extremely key. What's the core functionality here? It's like, it's what the people are listening to, you know? We get Josiah and then we push for review. It's pretty standard to like go back and forth a bunch, but with this app, like I think that we're all good. Fire. Dude, I'm so fucking hyped. Apex first product, let's go. We got uh, six miles today. Seven miles at nine is what, like an hour and three minutes? Yeah, so. exactly, so probably like seven. So seven miles at night. We just finished up about seven miles, just under 60 minutes. But after like three and a half miles in, I started to get some crazy blisters. So we'll do a little unveiling here. I haven't checked them out yet. Oh, yeah. Boy. Gosh, you know, we'll be okay. I'm about to get in there. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> right, give me one. Oh, two times. Oh, I don't want to have to get I got my fucking gadgets and everything. Oh, yeah. I got my Apple Watch, but. Get it back. Get it back. Get Three <laughs> days later. <laughs> Straight up. So Josiah, I sent you through Upwork, little three-liner. If you can go over that, just to give us an idea. Take a moment to reflect on your sleep patterns. How rested do you feel today? What affects the quality of your sleep? It sounds good to me. 20 topics, if each topic's eight minutes. About closer to six minutes, 120, two hours, six right? hours. And so yeah, six hours of total work. Blake, you want to tell us about the uh, marketing plan? Um, so plan is we're going to uh, probably go out, hit the water, hop on our boards, and just 
just like kind of tell people about a mindset in my Apex. <laughs> Hopefully they're really drawn to the idea. And then I, what I'm thinking is if, if they like it enough, they'll tell all their friends. Then they'll, they will tell their friends. And then bang, millions of downloads. Word of mouth at its finest. <laughs> <laughs> another surf sesh, another day behind the camera for Apex Jesse. It's all good though, I got my new toy. Our drone to get this bad boy off the ground. Okay. Apex Kling. Yeah. When does it start to get demoralizing, session after session, not catching a wave? When you catch me two years from now in Bali, the beautiful barrel over me, and you get that perfect photo because you're sitting on the boat with a camera, all I want you to do is refer back to this video. I guess on behalf of myself and Kling, I want to thank you. Right? Fucking killed it. So, cheers. Team effort, fellas. Um, Team effort in, in terms of the larger mission, but in terms of how we break down our roles and responsibilities, uh, you took the charge. And we all do in our respective domains. I think that that's what trust between co-founders really is. I think it sets apart what we're actually doing from what it might seem like we're doing. I think externally, it's easy to look at the content we've been producing and be like, you know, they're just trying to go, they're just trying to become influencers to sell a course or <laughs> sell some product that they can just make as much cash as possible off of. But it's like, that truly is not our mission. We want to build products that can fundamentally transform how people think about um, and take action in improving their lives. Um, and we want to do it in the most effective, uh, most cost effective at that form for the consumer. It's truly just the start of the journey. I mean, this will be the first product. Obviously, it won't be the last, but 2025 is going to be an amazing year. 2026 is even going to be a better year. And the future is just so bright. So I'm excited to you know, start this journey with you guys. That's Apex Cling Wisdom. <laughs> Apex out. <laughs> so there's a lot of little things that go into building the app that Blake doesn't you know, control all of it. And so... <laughs> That's not going to go in the video. Yeah. Yeah, no, keep talking. I'm just saying, listen, man. No, no, you're right. I don't control the app. Yeah, you control it. Control is the right <laughs> word. Reframe. Ready?